There's our beautiful display walking us through some of the key tech specs for this build. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the MSI Core Liquid S360 AIO CPU cooler. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here, front and center, they want you to know that this is compatible with Intel socket LGA 1700 for their 12th gen CPUs. They have more tech specs for you on the side that you can reference as well. And on the back, they walk you through some of the key features of this particular cooler. So you may notice that this features triple Silent Gale P12 fans. And my favorite feature, this is going to be so cool to see all set up, but we have a 2.4 inch customizable IPS display on the cooler. How cool is that? Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our user guide and manual for both the Core Liquid S360 and the S280. It walks you through all the included contents, how to get everything installed, depending on which you know, socket you're dealing with. So there's your Intel 1200s, your Intel 1700s. Then you can see AMD AM4 right there. So really detailed, thorough. They're showing you how to connect and wire everything. And you have a QR code, you can download the manual as needed or additional software. And then they have your legal and compliance information. Everything that you need right there in the nice user guide. Next, you can see we have some of our included brackets to use as needed, depending on which CPU and which socket you'll be installing this on. We have our AM4 kit right here. We have our Intel 1700, you can see, clearly labeled. We have our additional two kits as well that we'll use to get the fans and everything else installed. You can see the triple fans right here, so check it out. Our silent Gale fans with the hydrodynamic bearing. You can see they're all identical to each other and they look great. MSI's Dragon logo, front and center. And nice rubber corners. So you can see those fans. And then lastly, we have the cooler itself. So check out this radiator right here, 360 millimeters. Got the MEG logo all throughout. So that looks really nice. Very similar to what you'd expect for other AIOs for the radiator, but this is really, really sleek. So we have MSI's logo and branding on it, and we can peel off this screen protector for our 2.4 inch IPS display that's customizable right there on it. Let's flip it over to the other side. We already have our pre-applied thermal paste. Look at that. And then you can see all the different wire options that we have right here. Looks like we got USB most likely for the display, some power, CPU fan, and then our fan splitter cable right there for us for all three fans to connect into. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. So we have the cooler installed, check it out. Everything looks great and it's working great. It's really the focal point and centerpiece of our PC build with that beautiful built-in display that we can customize. So now let's go ahead, let's take a close-up look at everything and see it in more detail. All right, so here's the build up close. Look at that radiator and cooler. We have it mounted to the top. The fans don't have any RGB. They're all black, which I really like. I think they're just kind of hidden up at the top and I think it works with this build. So I like that it's kind of invisible in that regard. There's our beautiful display walking us through some of the key tech specs for this build. So we got some of our fan RPMs, our CPU temperature. Look at that display. There's our pump fan RPMs. There's the radiator fan RPMs. So really cool. We can also configure that within MSI software for additional settings. In case you're wondering too, you can see how we routed our cables up and around. And you can rotate the screen within the software settings as well, depending on how your build's configured. I wanted to make sure the MSI logo was proper, in my opinion, how you would want to read it, not upside down or sideways. So that's how I landed on this configuration. 
but the cooler is really quiet with those fans, the triple fan design. And having that built-in display is really, really nice and very cool. So to customize your core liquid cooler, download MSI Center. It's a free software available to download for your computer. Once you do, you'll be at this screen where we have our hardware monitoring. Select the features tab and then choose the core liquid cooler. And now we have all the different options for our core liquid cooler. So let's start with the LCD display tab. First up, it's our hardware monitor. We can choose up to five items to display and we have different designs. Next, we can upload our own video or images. So we have our file format, our resolution and specs, and we can have a maximum of 10 files. Next, we have a customized banner. So same thing, you can see the supported file if you wanna upload something. We have our text right here, we can change color, a lot of different options, fonts, multi-line, and then we got different transitions, slow, normal, or fast. We can also set up a system clock if we want that display with different time settings right there. And then lastly, we have live weather. So you gotta enable your location and it updates every three hours and it'll switch through humidity, chance of precipitation, and your temperature right there. There's a nice preview of it if you wanna do live weather. Also at the top right here, pay attention, we can turn the LCD display on or off, adjust the brightness, and we can also change the direction. So you can choose the direction depending on your build, which is great. So don't worry about that. Depending on how you installed it, you'll be able to rotate it as needed. And the next we have our fan settings. So this is pretty cool. We have a couple different options, silent balance, game mode, or customize. You can configure that right here. So you can see our radiator fan, our pump, and our water block fan, and the current RPM values of them. You can monitor all that in real time. So if it sounds too loud, great, go to silence. If you want to get maybe the best performance possible, you don't wanna worry about throttling, things like that, go ahead, enable game mode, or do your own customize options right here for the fans. So we actually have a fair amount of customization available within the MSI Center right here. So bring your own images, your own videos, and have a lot of fun really decking this cooler out. Now let's talk about performance and temperatures with this cooler. We have all the panels on our case and the PC's currently idling. You can see our motherboard temps, our CPU temps, our M.2 drive temps, our GPU temps, everything right here. So the CPU we're using with this cooler is the Intel Core i7-12700K. We're showing around 31 degrees Celsius right now with a minimum of 30 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 36 degrees Celsius. Now let's go ahead, let's put this under full load and come back and look at the temp results. Now we have the CPU under 100% load using Cinebench R23. We've cycled through this test a couple of times and the max temp that we got was 83 degrees Celsius and usually we're averaging around 80 degrees, maybe the high 70s under 100% load. So I'm really impressed with that result. I thought for sure we'd hit 90 degrees Celsius or maybe even a little bit hotter than that but we're well within range and it's doing a great job even under the most demanding applications with our panels on and everything else. It's gonna keep your CPU well within operating range and shouldn't lead to any thermal throttling or anything like that. So if you have demanding applications that you wanna run and use this cooler with a high-end CPU like the 12700K, you'll be really happy with the results. So after using the core liquid cooler, let me share with you my final thoughts. Not only does this AIO look really cool with that built-in display, hands down my favorite feature, but it actually helps keep your CPU nice and cool as well. Only improvement I would wanna to make to this in the future would be the ability to have some RGB in the fans and maybe even a little bit of RGB around the display too. I think that would be fun. Obviously, if we're gonna incorporate the RGB, we'll have a way to turn it off as well for those of you that don't want that in your build. But overall, a really solid choice if you want to have one of the coolest looking coolers on the market today.